eyes to match, a handsome swain and a lovely lady. That lights are soft, the music sweet, and you are with your favorite person. Will you enjoy this special evening among your friends? Will you really have a good time? Or will you be a little unsure, a little uncertain about the right thing to do and the right time to do it? Nothing spoils a good time like unease, and they gain confidence and poise thereby. By manners, we do not mean affectation. Good manners are really very simple. They come from knowing and following a set of symbols which help you enjoy yourself with people and help people enjoy themselves with you. It's as simple as that. Good manners, social graces, etiquette, call it what you will, all are based on consideration for others, being kind to the other fellow in the little things of life as well as the big things. The youngsters who start to learn their manners early are fortunate youngsters. They may not think so at the time, but as they grow older, they realize that good manners can't be put on for special occasions only. What better place to see yourself as others see you than in the school hall between classes? Good manners must be practiced as a part of everyday living until consideration for others becomes as much a part of you as your right arm or your two feet. If your manners aren't the everyday regular part of you, when special occasions do come up, you may be uncertain, not show up to advantage, and sometimes your lack of assurance results in the embarrassment of doing the wrong thing. At the school cafeteria, show consideration for others. Take your place in line, wait your turn, don't hold up the path of progress while you compare notes on the exciting play in Saturday's game, but move along as the line moves. Most school cafeterias serve a lot of people who are hungry at about the same time. If you have a choice of foods, look at the menu as you come in so you won't hold up the line while you make your decision. Know how to choose a lunch that will help to keep you as bright as you are today and in all the days to come. And then comes time to pay. Oh, what a line stopper this can be. That dime was in that pocket this morning, but where, oh, where can it be now? Manners are a part of your personality. Whether it's a formal occasion or an informal get-together, the popular host or hostess greets the guests at the door and knows how to introduce them so as to put them all at ease. The rules are, again, simple. The boy is presented to the girl. The boy always rises when introduced. Boys always shake hands. Girls may if they choose. When you are dining out, the girl follows the head waiter or hostess, and the boy follows her. When there is no head waiter, the boy leads the way, getting the table and seating his lady fair. The same is true in theaters or picture shows. The girl follows the usher, and the boy follows her. When there is no usher, the boy leads the way, finding the seats. Popular girls devote themselves to pleasant conversation. No combing of hair or retouching of makeup at the table. If your beauty is a work of art, not nature, then confine your art to the powder room, if for no other reason than to save mere man his illusions. Going places and doing things requires budgeting of time, and it is much more pleasant if you call on time and are ready when called for. If the man of the hour is not acquainted with your parents, then introductions are, of course, in order. A few pleasant words before setting out will put you at ease and make things more gracious. After all, parents are people, and they have a genuine interest in you. One of the young lady's parents, or a close family friend, should be present whenever she leaves on a date. Take good care of her, young man. This means not only big things like driving safely and getting her home at the reasonable hour set, but also little things like opening doors and many other small courtesies that our ladies do. The same principle and consideration for the young lady applies if you are going on the streetcar to the library or out on a very special occasion. Whether it be punch from a crystal bowl or hot dogs at a hayride, the gentleman is responsible for getting refreshments. And it is the young lady's responsibility to be gracious in all her actions, to help in keeping up conversation so that everyone is at ease. When she goes to the cloakroom, don't tarry with the stag line. Be nearby to escort her when she comes out. Carry your manners with you at all times. Make them part of you. They will help you over the hard places. And remember, 
Whatever your goals in life, finding a good job, being a gracious host or hostess, or not being a wallflower at college parties, good manners will help you achieve them faster and more successfully. It was Emerson who said, manners are the happy ways of doing things. And Emerson was right. Be natural, be yourself, but see yourself as others see you.